Hello everybody, welcome back to another Girl Tech Fighting Game tutorial. In today's Girl Tech Fighting Game tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a code computer. I know there's not many tutorials how to do this, and this is a big tutorial for most. Very simple, very easy. First thing you need to do, go to my Discord link in the description. It should be called Fruit Pickers. Scroll down to you see scripts for your own Girl Tech Fighting Game, and find the code computer channel. Download all of these scripts and import them into Unity. Okay, so you might already have a name computer. If you do have a name computer, copy that because I'm not gonna teach you how to make a whole keyboard and everything. So if you ha already have a name computer in your game, just copy that. If you want a name computer, I have one on my Discord. Now if you're wondering why I don't have a computer here, it's a separate asset, so just pretend there is a computer here, okay? Now open up your computer, go to the keyboard and get rid of the name script. Go to your prefab, right click on it, hit prefab and hit un unpack completely. Go to your monitor and find the the blank text and delete it. And then go to your name text, set your name text to say room and then copy that text and put it beside it. The text you put beside it, you want to put in 12 letters, you don't have to do this but I like to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, this is going to be the max amount of letters you can put in the keyboard. So you're going to want to make this something that actually is like a suitable size like this. Maybe move it to the cross a bit and then just delete every character you've got in there. Okay, now where it says room, copy that, bring it underneath. Make it so it says in room. Make it so it's like, make it so it's like bigger so then there's a lot, because you need a lot of room. And then go to your monitor, inside your monitor, create an empty game object, call this in room empty game. Uh, add the add the in room script where it says text. You want to set that to the text that you made that says in room. This will basically show you what room you're in. Now what you need to do is go into your keyboard and go from keys A to Z and delete the add letter script. Now what you need to do is add the server script onto that. Now this bit's going to take you ages, and it's boring, and I know, but make sure you're on capitals, and go to your A key, where it says letter, makes that to A, go to your go to your B, B key, set that to B, go to your C key, set that to C, and just do this for all your letters. Okay, another thing, go to your backspace button, and get rid of the backs, backspace script, and then duplicate your backspace button. Okay, your duplicated backspace button, you want to make that say enter, I cannot spell, on your enter key, add the join room script. Don't change anything in here. On your backspace, add the server back script. Where, where it says hand tag, you want to set that to player with a capital P. Go to your gorilla rig. Select your left and right hand controller. Right click. 3D object. Add a sphere. On your spheres, click on both your spheres that you made. Make sure the radius is set to 0 0.06. Turn off the mesh renderer. Make sure they're on his trigger. Put the tag, not the layer, put the tag to player with a capital P and put the layer to hand tag, spell it capital H, A N D, capital T, A G. Um, I don't know why hand tag is set as the layer, it's just whoever made these scripts. Now go to your enter key and just name this enter to make it easier for yourself. Uh, go to your backspace key where it says uh, join room, just set that to enter and then click on keys A to Z and where it says join room set that to enter and where it says server text you want to set that as the invisible text you made in your monitor for me that would be I think this one let me double check yeah it's this one and that is it that is how you set up a working code computer in your girl type fan game oh yeah one more quick thing to mention uh go to your photon go to your photon vr manager and make sure uh default q limit is set to 10 